Imagine turning a simple idea into a stunning AI-generated image or video instantly. Sounds like magic, right? Well, with ChatGPT, it's totally possible. But um, first, let's quickly talk about prompts. A prompt is simply the instruction you give to an AI to create what you want, by, like giving a recipe to a chef. The more detailed your prompt, the better the results. Today, I'm going to show you two awesome methods for generating image and video prompts. First, I'll walk you through a prompt generator that helps you create perfect image prompts every time. Then, we'll dive into the cool feature where you can just upload images directly into ChatGPT. And, it'll generate the most accurate prompts based on what's in the image. No more guesswork. Just clear, effective prompts that bring your vision to life. Stick around, because these tips are going to level up your AI creations big time. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome content. Let's jump in. Method number one, prompt generator. Here we are in ChatGPT. This is the first method where we basically copy a prompt, paste it into ChatGPT, and then the system will ask us for an image, we upload the image, and then it analyzes it. Based on the image, it'll give us three to five different prompts to work with. So let's do this so you can see how it works. Um, here we are. First thing we're going to do is grab the prompt I have here. I'll leave the prompt in the description. Um, just copy it, and we're going to paste it into the system. Um, all right, let's paste our prompt in here and hit generate. Now, what we're going to do is upload our image. Let's go to our downloads and, and pick the image of our beautiful influencer. We'll click generate and the system will analyze the image. It's working on it and will give us five different prompts based on the image. Like first, it gives us a summarized image analysis. In this case, it gave us three prompts for this influencer. Now that we have our prompt ready, we need to copy our prompt. Um, let's select the first one. Go over to a new window, then I'll paste our prompt here. Hit generate and let's see what we get. The system is now generating a realistic photo of a woman with long bangs, natural sunlight lighting up her face and hair with a calm and serene vibe in the background. Looks great. Next up, I'm also using an app called Polo AI. It has great different features like image to video, text to video, consistent character, video to video, AI animation, AI video effects, and more. What I really like about this app is that it's an all-in-one AI tool. You can use any other image generation app, like Leonardo AI or Midjourney, but if you're curious and want to give Polo AI a shot, I'll drop the link in the description for you. Just a heads up, this is an affiliate link, which means I earn a small commission if you decide to sign up. It helps support the channel at no extra cost to you. Okay, let's pick our model here. I personally like the Flux Schnell model, but you've got a bunch to choose from. Imogen 3, Recraft, Ideogram, Stable Diffusion, Dolly 3, and more. I'll copy the same prompt we used from ChatGPT and paste it into Polo AI. Now we get to choose our style. I, I love the ultra realism style, but there are lots to pick from, like uh, pixel art or cute cartoons, um, I'll stick with ultra realism. Next, we can choose the aspect ratio. I prefer 16 by 9 for landscape, um, but feel free to experiment with the other options. Then we hit generate and wait to see what comes up. And here's the image we got, super realistic and beautiful. Now let's try changing the style a bit. Uh, maybe we'll go with a different version of ultra realism, or let's actually pick auto and let the system pick for us. Let's generate that and see how it looks. And here's our second image. Let's click here. Still looks great, just a bit of a different vibe. If you want to tweak your images even more, Polo AI lets you do all sorts of cool things with your image. Edit the prompt, regenerate it, turn it into a video, remove objects, remove the background, upscale it or crop it. It's pretty versatile. Now let's switch things up and try something different. We are still using the first method. Let's grab an image of a Ferrari from Google. 
This is a real photo of a Ferrari. It doesn't really look like an AI generated image, which makes it perfect for our demo. It's perfect. We'll save it and upload it later to see how the system analyzes it. We'll copy the prompt, open a new chat, and paste it. The first part of the prompt tells the system that it's an expert in digital art and will create captivating prompts for DALI, but it works with any other model. Now, we'll upload the Ferrari image for analysis. The system is doing its thing, and after a few seconds, it gives us an analysis of the car and generates three to five different prompts for us. Let's copy the first prompt, head back to Polo AI, paste it in, and pick our model again. I'll go with Flux Schnell and choose Ultra Realism for the style to generate our image. We'll go with the 16 by 9 aspect ratio and set it to generate two images. Here we go. Hit generate. We've got our first Ferrari image. Looks stunning and realistic. Let's check the second one. It's another gorgeous shot, but uh, still a bit artificial. Let's try tweaking the style a bit to capture more of the natural look from the first image. We'll go with a different model this time, Imagine 3, and see what happens. Hit Generate. And look at that. Now it's super realistic. It looks like a photo, not AI generated at all, and it even captures the vibe of the first shot perfectly. That's what we were going for. Okay, let's try now a third example. Uh, this time with a cartoon, we're going to go ahead and copy our prompt again to create an animation. Let's open up a new chat and paste it in here. All right, we've pasted our prompt. Now let's run it. Now, we're going to upload the image for it to analyze. It'll take a moment, but it's doing its thing. Okay, here we go. It's analyzing our cow image. And now it's given us three prompts. Let's grab the first one and copy it. Now, let's open a new chat and paste it in there. Let's see what it generates for us. Hit generate. And here it is. It created this awesome cow image looking good. Now let's test this out with our animation system. We're going with the flux model. It just delivers way better image quality. Let's paste our prompt into the system and set it to uh, automatic style. I'm going to keep the aspect ratio at 16 by 9 and set it to generate one image. Hit generate. And here's our cow. It looks super cute and very similar to the original image. Uh, if we want to, we can generate another variation by clicking generate again. Let's see how that turns out. Um, and there we go. We've got another cute variation of our cow looking great. So that was the first method. Next up, let's try something a little more fun. Method number two upload and describe images. Now let's take a look at our second method and put chat GPT to work. All right, let's try another experiment. Um, I've got an image of a monster that I really like, a cute little monster. I'll take a screenshot and save it to see what it comes up with. All right, now let's upload our monster image into chat GPT. Let's type Describe the image. Now we have our description. Sometimes it actually works as a prompt, but to make our prompt more consistent, let's ask ChatGPT to generate a prompt out of this image. Hit generate. And we got our prompt. Let's copy it. And head over to Polo AI, and then select Flux Schnell. Now let's paste it for the settings, leave it on auto, and we'll go with the 16 by 9 visual style. Um, then click generate. As you can see, we got a cute little monster, but I want something a little more creepy, scarier, and fiercer. So here's what we'll do. Let's Google funny monsters to get an idea of the vibe we're after. Here are some monsters that are way scarier, but still have that funny charm. I'm going to save one of these and upload it to ChatGPT. 
Then we asked ChatGPT to describe the image. Let's copy the main idea of the description. Now let's ask ChatGPT to generate an image prompt for this image. Let's copy the main idea of the prompt. Let's go to our previous ChatGPT chat and ask it to make the monster look like the monster we liked and hit generate, it gives us a new prompt. Let's go ahead and copy it. Let's go back to Polo AI and paste it. Keep the same settings and hit create. And there we go. Um, we've got our final image. It's exactly what we were looking for with that perfect creepy monster vibe. Now let's create another image using our second method. I found a cool image of some YouTube mini workers building the YouTube logo. Let's upload that into ChatGPT and type, turn this image into a prompt and see what we get. Now we've got our prompt. Let's copy it, head over to Polo AI and paste it in and select Flux Schnell. Set the style to auto, keep the aspect ratio at 16 by 9 and click generate. And look at that. We've got a really cool image pretty close to what we uploaded into ChatGPT and it's got a nice vibe to it. Now for the fun part, let's go back to ChatGPT and type change the workers to zombies and make the YouTube logo blue. Hit generate. And here it is. We've got our new prompt. Um, let's copy it and head back to Paulo AI, um, paste it in keep the same settings and hit create and that's it. We've turned our workers YouTube logo into a zombie YouTube logo. Pretty cool, right? All right, that's a wrap on today's tutorial. I hope you learned some cool tips for creating image prompts with ChatGPT. It's all about experimenting with different inputs to get the perfect results. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any more tips and tricks. And if you've tried creating some prompts yourself, drop a comment below. I'd love to see what you've come up with. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Happy prompting!